Hey everyone, it's Megan from Mother Hen's Homestead. Um, today I thought I'd come on and talk a little bit about comfrey. Um, my comfrey right here is in bloom and she's just looking so beautiful. Um, it's one of the plants that I plan to highlight with my herbal apprentices this weekend. Um, but I figured I'd talk a little bit about it. She's just looking so gorgeous in the garden with all the flowers and the bees, as you can maybe tell, are loving it. Um, so I figured I'll just jump in to talk a little bit about it. Um, so comfrey is mainly um, an herb that we use um, for wounds and wound healing and like everything you think of like first aid wise, right? So broken bones, um, you know, rashes, bruises, breaks, um, you know, all the things to do with um, injuries, right? So like getting injured. Um, it really helps to proliferate uh, wound healing and cell generation, um, regeneration. So it helps to mend bones. Um, one of its common names was actually called bone knit, um, helping to mend the bones together again once they've broken. Um, so uh, comfrey is a really amazing plant. Uh, it's definitely fallen out of favor for a lot of herbalists um, due to the fact that they've found these, I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong, um, PAs, basically PAs. It's these um, alkaloids present in um, comfrey that can really um, cause a lot of issues with livers. Um, particularly if you're somebody that has liver issues already, you definitely don't want to take comfrey internally. Um, and comfrey at, in high doses can cause liver issues. Um, so definitely not something that you're going to want to take um, internally. Um, or you can take it internally, but use it with caution and in low doses. Um, so typically you would harvest um, comfrey before it's in flower form like it is now, um, but you'd want to gather the leaves of the comfrey and dry them for later use. Um, it's particularly beneficial in like a solve form, right? So you can put it over um, bruises, bumps, um, wounds, things like that. Um, Comfrey is an amazing healer and it's a super fast healer and it heals from top down instead of um, down and up like other plants do. Um, so this is not something that you would want to use on a puncture wound or something like that um, because it will heal the top of it before um, the, the bottom part has gotten healed, right? And has gotten rid of any infectious um, pathogens that have gotten into that wound, right? So it can actually um, make wounds turn septic that are puncture wounds. So definitely an herb to use cautiously, right? Um, but an amazing herb nonetheless. Um, so definitely consider working with um, comfrey root or comfrey in general. You can use the root, although the root has been um, has been shown to have more of those PAs in them. So that's something to consider. I typically just work with the leaves. Um, I dry them and make oil with them. Um, you can use them um, internally as well. Like I said, just use with caution. Um, definitely don't use if you have any liver sort of issues. Um, but comfrey can be taken internally and has for a very, very long time. Um, but it's just something to use um, cautiously and with a low dose, right? Um, so traditionally, comfrey has been used um, internally uh, for things like bronchitis, asthma, um, and allergies too. So it's another interesting usage for comfrey. Um, but yeah, so mainly I like to think of comfrey as a wound healer, uh, bone mender, things like that. Um, but you can use it in other ways as well. 
Um, so it's associated with the element water um, and the planet Venus. Um, it has these lovely, beautiful little flowers. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but the leaves are quite furry. There's hair on them. Um, but yeah, so anyways, a little bit about comfrey. I hope you enjoyed learning a tidbit about comfrey. Um, if you have questions about other uses or would like to comment on how you have used it in the past, put it down in the comments. But anyways, I thought you'd like to see this beautiful plant in all its glory. Look at that bumblebees just getting right in there, getting all its goodness. Anyways, I hope you are enjoying this lovely spring day. I will talk to you again on another Talk About It Tuesday on another random topic. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you then. Bye.